back to Christmas. Foot had it knocked away nicely by Sollinger. And then Joseph went up and Tyshawn Taylor with the goal tent. Is that big Al Thornton when he got that? So he still has the hops. Quick hands by Sollinger. Very skilled player. Very Danny Ferry is coming to He's Atlanta on and shaking things up. Well, and here's we've got Sollinger here at the baseline. He's gonna take this shot and knock it down. Nice looking shot. Celtic fans, don't be surprised. He's got that shot. Uh, the Hawks, uh, uh, two and three years ago, had Jamal Crawford. They Correct. called him the difference. Correct. To me, he made the difference in at least ten wins for that team both years. Lou Williams is probably the most similar player to Jamal Crawford in the entire league. Are you, is that is that safe to say? No, it is safe. So to say. they're they're getting that they're getting that that microwave, that Vinnie Johnson type guy back, according to these reports. I think that's great news for the Hawks well, if it happens. It's a great move, and someone just shows his uh, stretch four ability. NBA.com player metrics on Jared Sullinger, 7-1 wingspan, which is nice because he's six foot nine. You like that when the wingspan is longer than your actual size. NBA.com player metrics, and we encourage you to go to NBA.com slash free agents to keep up on all the latest happenings in the NBA in terms of player movement. And, of course, nothing can become official. You like any, anybody that can put the ball in the basket. That's right. And I'll tell you what, this kid, he, uh, he feels comfortable with the ball in his hands. It doesn't matter if he's on the low post. He likes stepping out. He can hit that little shot. Offensively, he's a really skilled player. He's a little bit of a throwback. You know, uh, he reminds me a little bit of, a, you know, Kevin McHale. We've got those long arms. Long arms. You know, he's got the up and unders. He's got good footwork. Uh, he can even become half the player Kevin McHale was. He's going <laughs> to have a great career in this league. Uh, defensively, he's his biggest, his biggest learning curve right now. He's got to get a little stronger. Yep. He's going to meet play against a lot of men at that four position in this league. Uh, but I tell you, he's a bright young man. Uh, he's a four-year college player. Uh, I think he was studying physics while he was in college. He, he's, uh, he's very, very bright, and he's a quick learner. And I think he's got a great, great career ahead of him. Will you Georgia Tech?